everyone, welcome back to Faith and Flower. If you're new here, my name is Robin, and today I am in my closet. I showed you in my last video how I'm getting together my summer wardrobe, and how I do that is mostly shop my closet. So I get out the things that I wore last summer and sort of reassess everything and see if I need to get any new pieces, see if I can make some items work from other seasons and just kind of play around with things. And as I was in my closet and I was cleaning in here yesterday too, I realized that it has been a while since I did a really good declutter. And so probably about two years ago, I started sort of a move towards minimalism in our home, going through room by room, decluttering anything that just wasn't useful to our family anymore, whether it be something that was broken or something that we didn't use anymore. If they were in good condition, we donated and we donated a lot. And we tried to just pare down to the things that we really love, that we need, and that we use on a regular basis just to simplify our lives so that we can focus on the things that are really important. And it has made all the difference. But I realized that it is not a one and done deal. <laughs> it is a process. And so each season I try to peel back another layer because we do acquire new things. And sometimes it takes me a little while to decide if I'm going to really use something and, you know, get rid of something else in its place, sort of one in one out. I don't do that really well all the time. So I'm working on that but this is meant to catch any of those items that I've been holding on to. Sometimes it takes me a little while to part with something for whatever reason, I'll just defer the decision and I've gotten better about that too, but I like the idea of sort of quarantining something. So if I've had it for a year and I haven't used it, then I know it's time to go. And there's a few items here in the closet that definitely fit into that category. Plus I've acquired a few new items and I have some sort of worn out items that need to go. So I'm gonna go through everything in my closet today and do some purging. <laughs> so if you need a little decluttering motivation, then this video is for you. So let's get started. And I'm going to start with this corner of my closet because that is where I accumulate things that I know I want to donate from all over the house. And so I have some clothing items in there plus some other items. I did a sort of refresh in my office and so some of those things are in there and I haven't made a trip to my donation center yet. So that's where they've been collecting. So I already know those things are gonna go. So I'm gonna start there and pull those out. feels really good. I have got a garbage bag started with those coats and the coats were items that were given to me by a company to try out and they just weren't the right size or for whatever reason they weren't going to work for me. So they didn't want me to return them. They want me to donate them. So that's why those were sitting there. And so they were never worn. They're new. And then I've got coats that I've had for quite some time or jackets and I keep them all here. This is all I have. Um, I have a couple of ski jackets and I won't be getting rid of those because even though we haven't been able to go skiing for almost two years now, I still plan to. And so I want to hold on to those. And if we do get some cold weather like that Texas snow and ice storm, I will need a winter coat. And you know what will happen if I get rid of it, then I'll need it. <laughs> and that's not really good minimalist thinking, I know, but I do know I'm gonna wear those. So I'm gonna keep those. Uh, but I'm gonna go through item by item and just sort of reassess and decide if this is something that I wanna still hold on to. So this coat is probably the one that I wear the most. I've had this for a number of years. It's like a really nice pea coat length it's waterproof, it has a hood, so it's great in the winter time if we have any rainy weather because it's also sort of warm, but too warm to wear 
starting in the spring and summertime, but this is where I keep all of those items. And so I'm just going to leave that here. Then I also have a jean jacket and this I've had for a number of years and I just, I don't wear this. I think this particular style of jean jacket probably just isn't current. And even though in my mind, I would like to wear it, I'm not reaching for it. And even here in Austin, we don't have that many occasions for jackets, so I don't need a lot of them. And if I don't love it, then I probably shouldn't keep it. So this is gonna go. This is one that my mother-in-law and father-in-law got me in Paris, and I love this thing. This is awesome. It's a really nice light down jacket, and it rolls up into, I think I've got the little pouch in here, a little pouch. So if I travel, it's the perfect coat to take along because it rolls up into this tiny little pouch, and I can easily stow it in my purse and pull it out and fluff it up. This is perfect for the weather that we have here because in the fall when it starts to get just a little bit chilly, this is nice to have. So I'm definitely holding on to that. And this is my sort of dressy, warm wool winter coat. And this I've had for a number of years. It's a classic, it's navy. This one is by L.L. Bean. I love it. And this I would wear with a dress or if I were a little more dressed up or wearing a long cardigan, it works great for that too in the winter time. This I'm definitely keeping. Don't worry, I'm not gonna go through every item, item by item in my closet. I just thought I'd explain the process a little bit here with the coats, because I just have a few of them. And then I'm just gonna go through and pretty much show you the things that I'm getting rid of. I won't go through each and every item, so don't worry. <laughs> it would be a very long video. And so this jacket is one that I used to absolutely love. I used to get a ton of compliments on it when I wore it. It was a good lightweight jacket, but I think that we've moved on from this style. This color isn't something that I'm really drawn to anymore. I still love it and it's still in great condition, so it's something I'm gonna donate. This is my trench coat. And of course, a trench coat is classic. It will never go out of style. It's a good weight for where we live as well. And something that I wear when I wanna be a little dressier and I can wear this with the exception of summertime pretty much year round. So this is staying. All that's left are my two sort of ski jackets. So this is like your classic ski jacket. I would not really ever wear this except for on the slopes. And then this one is a little more versatile. I feel like I could wear this, you know, out and about. And on the ski slopes, it's got a hood that comes off. It's just a little more neutral, a little bit more my style. So I'm gonna hold on to both of these and that's it for the coats. This is my shoe shelf. This is where I keep pretty much all of my shoes except the ones that I wear pretty much daily. I keep by our garage door. We have a little sort of like mudroom shelf there. So we each have a shelf and I do keep some shoes there, but this is where the rest of my shoes live. And I know I have some in here that I need to get rid of. So I'm gonna go in and grab those. So these are the shoes that are gonna go. These are actually slippers that I've had for a long time. These are by Vionic and I think I held on to them because first of all, Vionic is not cheap. <laughs> But I did get some wear out of them. You can see they're pretty worn, but I wouldn't get this style again because they aren't very adjustable. My foot is a little bit narrow. These were always a little too wide and not that comfortable. I have others, so these are gonna go, and they're not in very good shape, so they're going to go into the trash. But these, uh, at least one pair, I know I'm definitely gonna donate, that's these. I never wore these all that often. I thought they were really cute. They were quite comfortable, and for about a season, they were nice, but um, I don't know. They're just not that flattering. They're a little on the frumpy side and I just was never in love with them. So it's time to quit holding on to them, donate them, and hopefully someone else will be really happy to find them. And then these I wore to death. In fact, I think they're probably too worn to donate, but I think that this style is something that isn't super flattering, even though it's comfortable, and I have a much better alternative for this season, so I think these are going to go. And then I was debating about these, and I've 
worn these last year, so it has, I have worn them within the last year, but again, they're a little bit wide. I do wear them with some of my dresses and they're a really nice quality shoe. I think these are Nine West and I've always loved Nine West shoes. So I think I'm gonna hold on to these. If I don't wear them this summer, then they are gonna go in the donation pile next year. The rest of these shoes are ones that I do wear. If not on a regular basis, they get worn for special occasions. So I know that I'll have another opportunity to wear them at some point, so they're gonna stay. So in these drawers, this is my side and this is Patrick's. I've got some sort of accessories like scarves and other things in this one. This one has all of my underwear, bras, that sort of thing. I've got workout wear in here. I have some out of season pants here. And then down in the bottom, I have jeans and some ski wear. So I don't need to go through each and every one of these drawers, but I do know this accessory drawer has a lot of things I need to purge. So I'm gonna hit this right now. So these are scarves that I do wear in the winter time. And these are some, you know, lighter ones that I can wear in the spring or the fall. Um, these are as well, they're mostly silk and they're just kind of classic pieces that I'll probably always hold on to, to accessorize with. These as well are even smaller ones. I've got a, a sweater saver in here. This is super handy for getting rid of those pills on um, your sweaters and things like that. I think I have this on my Amazon store. If you guys need one, they are great. I've got a couple of little sort of elastic belts that I can wear with jeans. I've had a few pairs of jeans that I needed those for. And this is a purse that I use for a very special occasion. So I keep it in here as well. And then this came with a purse that, you know, it was like a little accessory strap and I'm never gonna use this. This is not my style. So this is gonna go. This will stay, that will go. And then in here is just, I always collect, you know, tags when I cut them off, things like that in case you know, I want to remember the information or whatever, but at this point, most of these things I've taken care of, so they don't need to just keep piling up in here. So I'm gonna get rid of those. I will hold on to little buttons and things like that, but I have a different place where I keep those. So I'll just take those off and make sure that they get saved. These are little clips that you can use um, to sort of make your bra into a racerback bra. I used to love these and I used to use them all the time, but with the style bra that I've been wearing lately, they really do not work very well. And I have a couple of racerback bras that I like better. So I think it's time to let those things go to and just you know eliminate the clutter in here, things that I'm not using anymore. I could donate them too. Maybe I'll stick them in the donation bag and they'll find their way to someone who could use them. This is the section where I have all of my dresses because this is one, you know, full length area of my closet where I can hang the longer items. So not only do I have dresses in here, but I also have long cardigans. I have all of my out of season dresses in here too, along with special occasion wear. So all of that has to fit into this space and it does look like a lot, <laughs> but I'm gonna go in and I'm going to purge some things that I know I'm probably never gonna wear again. They haven't been working in my wardrobe this past year, so they are going to get donated. I have also scarves here and I tend to hold onto those things longer and reassess this maybe in the fall when I start to wear them again, instead of doing it now in the summer, because pretty much all of those I won't be wearing for this season, but I'm gonna hold on to them a little longer. And like I said, decide in the fall. And then I've got robes and these are more sort of winter ones. So I've already washed them and hung them in this section of my closet because I know I'm not gonna need these until the weather gets cold again. And then I'm gonna start going through some of these dresses. So. Right off the bat, I know I have a sort of special occasion dress that I haven't worn for a few years. This is a sweater dress and I'm just not loving this dress anymore. Every time I wear it, I'm just not happy in it. So no sense in holding on to that. So that's going and I'm gonna just keep going and 
pull out what I don't want. This dress is one that I thrifted last year. It is from Loft and it fits well. It's really cute. The things that I don't like about it are that it's a little bit short. The material is a little bit thin and I wore it last season and now it's sort of pilling, kind of pilling a lot. And so it just doesn't really look all that good anymore. And I'm not a major fan of the color. I can make it prettier with some accessories and that part was nice, but I think that this dress just was not the best quality and therefore did not last. So that is going to go. This is where I put my t-shirts and all of my layering pieces. So I've got both short sleeve and long sleeve here and everything that I've got in here, I'm still wearing. Even though this isn't for this season, I'm gonna probably keep those out here. Um, and so I've got kind of this for the summer season and so far I'm still wearing these so I'm gonna hang on to these for now. And here is where I am grouping together all of the core pieces for my 10 item capsule wardrobe and I'm hoping to have that out to you guys soon. I've given you some sneak peeks of what I've got. I don't have a lot of new things which is really great because that's really what the capsule wardrobe concept and this 10 item wardrobe concept is all about. It's about choosing pieces that are going to be able to come back season after season so that they're good quality, they're pieces that fit your personal style and colors that you love and that work well with the other pieces in your wardrobe. So hopefully you only have a little bit of swap out each season and so far that's been working pretty well for me. So I'm not gonna go through each individual piece, but I will show you two pieces from last year that I am debating about whether I want to keep or not. Actually, this one I know I'm not. So I think I got plenty of wear out of this. I've had it for, I guess, at least one or two seasons, and it's still in great condition, but I just don't really love the way it falls on me. It just, you know, kind of is very full around the hips and I don't love that. <laughs> I love the pattern, I love the color, but I think I can do better. So this one's gonna go. And then this is something that I've had in my wardrobe for ages. And I took it out of my wardrobe last year for summer and did not wear it. So it's been over a year, which by the rule means you should get rid of it, right? <laughs> but every time I pull it out, I just i am gravitating towards the color. I like the drape of this one. It's you know sort of low in the back. I don't know if you can really see that, um, but it's flattering when you wear it. And so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna try on this with all of my other pieces, see if it's something that's going to work. And I may even you know try wearing it a couple of times to see what I think about it before I let it go. So that's gonna stay for now, but it's sort of under consideration. Right under those blouses, I have the pants that I'm considering for this season. And so I'm sort of transitioning. I've still got a pair of jeans in there, but I know I'm not gonna be wearing those once the weather's hot, but right now it's still back and forth. So I'm keeping them in there and I've got the shorts that I wore last summer. So I'm pretty sure I'll keep those, but I have not tried everything on and you know made the final decision. So while I'm in transition, those things are going to stay there. Right next to that, I I have a section with my athletic wear and all of my out of season clothing. That's the bulk of what's here. And so I use these sort of dust jackets. I have looked for these, they are really hard to find. If I can find some, I'll put them in my Amazon store, but I haven't had a lot of luck. So if you know where to find them, leave it down in the comments so everybody can find out. I always get lots of questions about those. Um, but this is where I put the out of season clothing and these help keep those things protected so they don't get dusty. So those would be like my fall, winter, and the spring items that are already too warm to wear this time of year they've gone in there and then this is the athletic wear that I have and so I've got some sort of colder weather things I've got um, things that I'm currently wearing now and so those things that don't fit well in a drawer I put there and like I said I do have some more athletic wear in one of my drawers okay. 
I also have a tendency to hold on to things like shoe boxes and unless there are really nice ones that I can repurpose for something else then I really should just go ahead and get rid of them. So these have been sitting up there for a little while and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be using them. They are recyclable so they're going to go in the recycling bin. I'm really glad that's done and it only took me a few minutes, maybe 15 or 20 and I was filming. So I managed to fill up one garbage bag with things to donate plus the things from my office. I also had a little bit of trash and a little bit of recycling but not much and now my closet is going to function all the better. So there may not be a major you know, visual difference this go round because I've done my major purging a couple years ago but going through and peeling back another layer makes such a difference and keeps everything functioning and you don't wind up with another great big purge that you have to do all over again. So I want to encourage you to do the same. Grab a couple garbage bags, one for donations, another for recycling, maybe another one for trash, and quickly make a pass through your closet. Pull out the things you know either don't fit well, they don't flatter you, <laughs> they're not in a style that you really love, or maybe the color isn't quite right or they just don't play well with the other items in your wardrobe go ahead and get those things out of your closet and if you have anything like this <laughs> that you're not 100 percent sure about at least it's on your radar now and you'll be thinking about it i'm going to make a decision on that really soon and if it's something that i'm not going to wear then it's going to be donated and hopefully benefit someone else and if i keep it it's going to be a functional part of my wardrobe that gets a lot of use so I hope that this was encouraging for you today. If you liked it, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe. We would love to have you join our Faith and Flower community. Let me know if you are decluttering anything right now, what that is, and if you have any encouragement for the rest of us that are decluttering. <laughs> and if you're working on your wardrobe for the summer as well. I always love hearing from you guys. And I will see you in the next video. But until then, have a wonderful week. Subscribing is absolutely free and easy. All you have to do is click on my picture. Make sure to activate the bell icon so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. If you like today's video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, share with a friend, and check out the other videos I have on my channel, starting with the two you see here on the screen.